So if you're like me, sometimes you struggle with coming up with phrases or quotes for your print on demand merch. You just can't find that funny or that witty quote and it's really complicated and you don't also want to copy other people. We've solved that problem with the quote generator. So now you can type in whatever you're looking for or use one of our pre-selected niches and it will generate some pretty amazing quotes in a variety of styles, whether you need funny, witty, encouraging. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. And by the way, Way, until the end of this year, so January 1, 2024, we are giving free unlimited AI credit so you can generate AI art, quotes, whatever you need, go ahead and sign up using the link down below. But let me go ahead and show you how it works. So here we are on the homepage of Kittle. I'm going to hover over tools right here and then I'm going to click on AI quote generator. And so what that does is show me the landing page here. You can read a little bit about how it works, go down and follow the steps. Let's go ahead and click generate quote. Quotes. So here we are on this main page and you can see all of the pre-selected niches that we have, which you can click on, but I'm going to type in my own. I'm going to type in music lovers as a music lover myself, of course, and I just want to see what it's going to give me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and I'm going to pick happy, I think, as my mood. Yeah, I'm going to go with happy for my mood. I'm going to go five to eight words because I want a little bit longer of a phrase to work with. Boom, I'm going to click generate quotes and it is going to give me a bunch of quotes here. So now you can see tune in world out. That's music. Uh, I like this one. Music isn't a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Uh, I can use it, copy it or download it as a text file. If I hit use this quote, it opens a new project. So I hit that button and look, here is the quote ready for me to make something from scratch. I can change the font, do whatever I want inside of the Kittle editor. But what I'm going to do is just copy it because I'm going to edit a template. So I'm going to click this button right here, quote, copy to the clipboard, scroll back up. I'm going to hit on the Kittle logo and that'll take me to all of the templates here. So then what I can do is type in something I'm looking for. So I'm going to go with something more specific like guitar. I'm just going to type in guitar, keep it a little broad, but not as broad as if I just type in music. Okay, and so now I'm gonna scroll down. I'm looking for something more retro because the retro mascots are in. Like, look, this right here is got a guitar in it and a retro mascot. And I like this one because I like where the text is positioned. It's gonna be super easy for me to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click use this design, this green button right here. And then that is going to open up that template in the editor. So here we are. I'm gonna add text with the T button. I've pasted my quote in with command or control V. I'm going to put it off to the side. Now, if I hit the W button, that's the trim view. So if I go down to the sharp shortcuts, you can see right here, W is the trim view. And so I just want it off to the side. I don't need to like mess with that text right now. First thing I'm going to do is mess with the color. I'm not, I, I like pink, but maybe for what I'm trying to do, I, I'm going to go with a different color. I'm going to pick a palette I think looks nice for this still kind of like dark muted. Uh, which is kind of a trending color palette and then i can even adjust it so i selected one of those presets but down here in the project colors i can just make it whatever i want then all i need to do is just click on my text and i'm going to change it so music isn't and then i'm going to put a hobby right here and then down here i'm going to delete this apparel co because this is just going to be for a shirt it's not for like a logo um, and then I'm going to put it's a in the first line, hit enter, go down to the bottom one and put lifestyle. Okay. And so then I'm going to go over here to the line height. I'm going to hit zero and enter. And that looks exactly how I want it. Select everything. I can just drag my mouse over everything. I'm going to hold the alt or option key and scale down using those anchor points on the corner, position this here in the middle. And I mean, it was that simple. I, I came up with my quote using the quote generator and now I have my design. Last thing I'm going to do is add some texture. So we have this new category of fabric textures that I want to try out. So here they are right here. I'm going to go and scroll through one that I like. I mean, there's some really detailed ones in here, but I'm going to pick more of a pattern one, more of a linen one. Let's click this one. That one's OK. That's more of like a, a sack or something. This one, this one looks more like like, you know, stitched linen or something. I'm going to turn down the opacity to maybe about halfway. I think that looks about right. It just gives you that little bit of texture that's in there to make it look like it's woven. Um, and so then what we're going to do is mock this up. So if I click on this little uh, icon right here, this takes me to the mock-up tool. And now you can see what it looks like on a shirt. I mean, that already looks really awesome. I think that it looks weathered, which is why I put that texture on there. And now I can see what it looks like on a variety of mock-ups. So maybe we want to do like a sweatshirt. 
So we scroll down and look for one. This 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 gal looks like she listens to some pretty uh, awesome music. So I'm gonna put it on this sweatshirt right here. I mean, that looks pretty, pretty awesome. But if I wanna see what it looks like on a different color, I can just go up to the mock-up color and I can make this any color I want. I can make the sweatshirt change to whatever so that I can see what it's gonna look like. But maybe you wanna make different versions of this okay so maybe we don't want those icons specifically in the middle those mascots well if I go over here I'm gonna stay in the mascot niche I'm gonna type in mascot hit enter and then look at all of these different mascots that appear for me to use so I'm gonna expand the menu there I'm gonna scroll down and I want to find one that obviously has something to do with music of course I don't want to put a mascot there just for the sake of it this, this flower is like whistling I guess and it has music notes there uh, it's pretty awesome so let me put this over to the side and then I can work on my colors to make sure that the colors are the same so you see all those object colors I can make them all the same here I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna delete these two mascots and then I'm gonna move some of these little elements around and then put this guy right here in the middle make sure he's centered scale it up a little bit and then I can move around these little hearts and these stars to maybe make them a little bit closer to it and now I have a variation of this design you could keep going and part Parsing this out for a bunch. Now, don't forget to check out the AI quote generator for all of your other needs. We have so many cool niches here. For example, let's click on food. Uh, let's go with funny and then let's hit generate. I mean, there's so many different ideas you can get. So if you're really struggling to come up with quotes, I suggest that you check this out. It's going to make your life a lot easier and help you make more sales. Again, don't forget to sign up for Kittle. You can use the link down in the description because until the end of the year, January 1, 2024, create anything you want with the AI, whether it's art or the quotes, free AI credits until the end of the year. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the thumbs up button and let us know down in the comments what other kinds of tutorials you want us to make. I always love seeing your all suggestions so that we can put those in the queue. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.